Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs, welcome back to Decidedly Neapolitan. Gonna play some modded Minecraft, and I've been doing a little bit on this server this week, just kind of playing around. It's a weird thing that I hadn't quite gotten used to with modded Minecraft yet, because I started this series to kind of show the modded side of Minecraft, and I kind of intended every video to have a piece of content where I was going to make progress and I was going to show a thing, but... I didn't really do much on the server outside of that, so I haven't really spent a great deal of time just playing the game. You know, it's one of those weird things where I, I feel like this series started off more as an obligation to produce content. And it's an obligation that's only kind of come from myself, you know? I've not I've not been obliged to make content from this server. Ah, it's night time. I will sleep. And I, I haven't felt like I absolutely had to, like anyone was kind of forcing me to or anything, but I just kind of felt like because it's modded I should show how it's different from vanilla and that kind of stuff, whereas I've just been hanging out here and it's been quite fun. I finally, hello you, just gonna get rid of the skeleton before I start talking and he interrupts me, there we go, power three bow, still pretty good. I finally built this water wheel, well I think <laughs> it's kind of the best I'm gonna be able to do for now, but ages ago I talked about having a water wheel here that was kind of supposed to be driving whatever was in here and it was going to provide power and obviously now I'm in industrial craft I'm like this will not provide power at all but it's kind of what I was going for I made it out of um is this jacaranda wood I think I just I found some some other interesting wood types it might even be cherry wood I kind of found some more wood types to work with and decided to go with that and yeah I think I mean it looks okay it's not the best thing I've ever built and there are definitely a couple of things I would do differently, but it's really, it's a pain to just disassemble individual carpenter's blocks and then put them back together in the right place. So that's happy. I'm happy with that. That's enough for my purposes anyway. So I've been doing a little bit of exploration. I went back to the nether and looked around a little bit more in there and wow, there is some weird and cool stuff in there. <laughs> um, I got myself a lumber axe finally. I know probably some of you guys were like, why has he not made a lumber axe already? He needs to harvest so much wood to do stuff. And yeah, that's what I've been doing. I kind of, I haven't, <laughs> I say that's what I've been doing. Like I was, I was going to have this entire chest full of wood, but that's, yeah, there's some, there's some stuff in here that I've been, been working on and I've got some, some dark wood now, which I really want to build some stuff with because I think it looks so cool. Last episode, I was freaking out about the fact that there was blue netherrack and I feel like that and this are kind of... Just look at that. That that looks pretty beautiful in itself, right? There's this whole kind of blue kind of... Not desaturated, in fact. It is quite saturated. I'm not sure what I'm going with there. But it's it's got this kind of strange vibe about it that makes it very, very different from other kinds of trees. So... Oh, that's trapdoor, of course. Yeah, slabs. That's what I wanted. I wanted some slabs because I've been looking up recipes, and th that's the other thing that I haven't quite gotten used to in modded Minecraft until now. The fact that when you're looking up stuff, unless you're really, really familiar with the mod, you do just have to go into any eye and look it up. So I'm going to type in dark wood, and let's see what comes up as an option. Obviously, like all the leaves and stuff here, but bookcases that's the kind of thing I want to make and I have a bunch of books down here in a chest but I figured why not just display them somewhere right I've also found you can craft that amber that I've been finding everywhere into blocks like this and it's from Thorncraft but I don't know if it has any other purpose other than that that's pretty much the only thing I was able to find in it but yeah I have these books some of which are about uh, Tinker's Construct, some of which kind of are given to you when you start the game, and it's about open blocks and things, and then how to use your dirt chest 9000, which I've kind of put here opposite a, a diamond chest as a kind of like rags to riches sort of look. And I made a crafting station. I just found out that you can compact your crafting setups. I've seen them before, but I wasn't entirely sure how they were made, and now I know. So there you go, guys. We're going to put a bookshelf there. I think that seems like a good place to put one. Probably put one on the other side over there for symmetry. And the dark wood looks really, really strange. Just sat there like that. But I think that's what we'll do. And we'll throw these books in here like that. Just for a bit of colour. Because that actually looks super cool, doesn't it? Can I, can I put the... Oh, I can. I can put it in there. You actually have to be looking at a specific part of the bookshelf to put it in. That's crazy. Okay. 
okay and then it doesn't necessarily correspond to the color of the book that's just kind of filling it up with random sprites okay that works that works do i have any other books around i'm pretty sure i have one that's about tinker's construct yeah i've got materials and you here and i've got mighty smelting here and i think that is pretty much all the books i had but it, it blows my mind that it has a hitbox that you can kind of look at individual things like that and place them in that's that's neat and obviously yeah when you right click on it you have to kind of pull it out like that but still let's at least put these in some sort of order i feel like i should probably put them that way around if i put materials there and there and then weaponry and smelting there that seems like the right sort of thing to do and then enchanted books on the bottom although that's not really an enchanted book it's just a named book isn't it i have a looting three book here which i keep meaning to put on a sword but i don't think you can put it on tinker tools and i made this broadsword because i thought well the long sword was not quite working out for me wasn't quite doing as well with that as i thought i would and i just wanted to stick with what i know so i've got this alamite broadsword and i've been making everything out of alamite because it's the best thing i have i guess but yeah it's got durability increase it's got quartz for days and it's it's a powerhouse it does the job i've also been finally working out how all of these signs and things work so you'll see down there that i have labeled chests in here now let's see what we've got it says, yeah, it says rocks and whatnot, uh, things of a wooden nature, and nether gubbins. <laughs> I, I just kind of went a little bit eccentric with the signs, but I love the fact that you can put stuff in the frames, and those are made using labels. Let's make a dark wood one, because I've got a ton of dark wood on me right now. You need a sign, you need paper, and you need to make a label. And let me see if I can remember how to make a label. I think it's just slabs like that. Yes, okay, so I am learning some of these crafting recipes. I am actually learning how to make them, which is kind of useful, really, because they are things that you would use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, where can I put this? This one down here is mob drops and stuff. So let's use that. Let's have, what's a good mob drop to use? I guess gunpowder probably works pretty well. Throw that on there, and then you've got to shift-click to look at it. That's what I found and now this gunpowder is going to go in here and it's a little bit it's a little bit glitchy sometimes sometimes it just doesn't quite show up but then if you go back in there it will show me the gunpowder what the heck okay it kind of <laughs> it kind of turned around a little bit there i don't know why it's not showing up for me come on you see cuz i'm putting it in there before i select a a, a box Go there. See, it's it's on the sign. It's on the sign. It's just not showing up in the GUI. That's really annoying. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can get that over into the right place. Use the arrow keys. It's a little bit easier. And then we can put in some text. We can say mob. See, that's not showing up either. Mob. There we go. Mob drops. Yeah, that'll do for now. I'll tinker with that later. I don't want to spend the entire episode looking at a sign. <laughs> but there we go. I've also been enchanting this bronze armor a little bit more, because I figured going into the nether you probably need a bit more protection. Got blast protection on that, which isn't great. Got feather falling and protection 3, thanks to some books that people had left over there, which was super handy. And then... Blast protection to an unstable one, and I was looking up stuff about unstable, turns out that means that if I'm carrying gunpowder, I can explode at, at random, <laughs> something like that. So there are like negative enchantments as well as positive ones, which is a little bit crazy to me. I am still feeling out a bunch of this stuff, and working out what on earth it all means. I need to grab a bit more sandstone as well i'm not sure if i'll do that on this episode or on another one but i've been working on the floor around here and the outer walls and the walls and stuff are kind of irritating because every time i break a dirt block again all of the sand falls through and it floods and it's all kind of terrible so i should maybe do something about that on the surface so that i'm not just letting water in every time i do anything about that you'll also notice that I have purple liquid in here, and that is manulin. Manulin is the nether alloy, which you can get from cobalt and 
is it Ardite, the other one? I was trying to remember that last episode, and I couldn't remember for the life of me what it was. But I finally found some, and it's difficult to find, and I'm not sure if that's just because other people have mined out the nether, or if it's just because it's a rare ore, but it's kind of nuts, the amount of amount of it you find. It's very, very little, considering that it's... I mean, it's supposed to be the rarest thing in the in the game so you go to the nether to find it i mean it's it's a little bit it's a little bit tricky to find but thankfully when you're mining in the nether it kind of stands out so that is that is going to be useful for something i'm, I'm probably going to end up making i don't know it's like a pickaxe or a sword or something out of it just something durable that's going to be the best of its kind and i'm kind of i'm liking pendragon right now. I, I like I like Pendragon. I've got a good setup with this pickaxe. And yeah, kudos to anybody who noticed that Pendragon and Jenkins was a Howl's Moving Castle reference. One of my favourite films ever. And I've read the book that goes along with... I, I, the book doesn't really go along with the film. The book kind of came first. And it is it is a fantastic book. I'm going to look over here. I mean, there's, there's beaches, there's rainforests and stuff. I'm not sure if the terrain generation in this version of Minecraft works the same as it does in, say, 1.8, where you actually have to have temperate biomes next to each other, that you have to have a desert next to a rainforest or something like that. I'm not sure if that's how it works. So I will I will check that out. I haven't been out to a rainforest yet, and we may as well go and gather some materials. I kind of want to use this lumber axe on a really big tree just to see what happens. So we will see. We'll see what happens. And I've been told that it's probably best if we don't move too far away from <laughs> from spawn because obviously the server is, is run by BRAN and there's trees over there just look so different and weird and is that is that a is that a floating island somebody has built or is that just a naturally generated floating island? Because either way that's pretty cool, right? I think that might be a slime island. Because you can get those. You get islands where slimes and, and I think blue slimes spawn up there more frequently. This is stuff I'm only just learning. <laughs> and it looks like somebody else has been mining for sandstone around here as well or at least that's probably what has caused those cave-ins okay, I'm, I'm getting a boss bar that says King Slime, I assume that's what's up there not going to mess with you today my lordship, but I will take down one of these trees I yeah, I kind of want to use a lumber axe on one of these just to see what happens I'll pick one that's kind of in the middle, there's a hive up there I don't have my scoop with me you kind of need to bring everything with you if you want to do any of this stuff. And I don't have shears on me to collect moss. I don't have anything with me, really. And those are willow trees as well. And willow trees kind of look a little bit more like what I would build in a tree with the kind of dangles down. But it still looks so blocky in there. There's, there's, so, there's a much more organic way I think you could generate those. <laughs> so let's grab one of these and there's there's these weird kind of shadowy places here and there which are kind of neat looking and I really wish I had depth strider on these boots but oh my goodness look at this I, I'm, I'm gonna gather some more wood because I really want to build some more cool stuff with wood what's happened to the grass over here see this is this is what happened that looks so cool up in the sky when it's got that light effect this is what happened over at spawn and I've there's a, there's a blue slime there now. Maybe I should try and take him on. This is what happened over by spawn, and I've kind of worked out what this is, because if you go to F3, the biome thing, I'm, I'm so not used to reading the debug information on this version of Minecraft, but the biome there says be eerie, and as you walk out of it, it changes to temperate rainforest. So there are these eerie biomes that kind of generate in the middle of other biomes, it seems like, and they just darken everything a little bit. They, they turn the the moss and stuff, a different colour, they seem to reduce the, oh it's not, it's, it's the block light isn't it, it's not the lighting, I kind of, I kind of thought that they were like reducing the light level to zero so stuff would spawn in the middle of the day, maybe that's kind of how it works, I don't know, I haven't really seen much stuff spawning in these areas and considering that there is one right by spawn I think I'd have probably seen it a little bit more, so let's, let's take down this tree, let's do it, oh yeah, Rain the wood down on me, that's awesome. So I'm pretty much set for wood for the next, I don't know, eternity. I've got, <laughs> I've got nearly three and a half stacks of oak wood. That's pretty good. That is not bad at all. And there's 
a ton of stuff around here to explore. I know this is just kind of this is just a biome for people who are used to modded Minecraft. This is probably nothing special, but for me it's just a new experience every single time. And there's Ivy and Hello. There's moss and stuff growing everywhere. There's a bunch of cool stuff. And obviously copper and amber and stuff in the walls. Like I'm not that interested in gathering resources right now. I want to find something a little different. But I'm not going to find it in this cave, it looks like. I'm also kind of on the lookout for aluminium because that's the, the one thing that I don't have in huge supply and that's kind of the backbone of alamite so i kind of wanted to get that because i'm definitely going to be building more stuff with alamite than i am with manulin if i don't make a bunch more trips into the nether i was kind of hoping there would be a spawn around the corner when those zombies came out at me but apparently there is not cool right let's gather some more wood at least let's take out this willow tree and obviously all the leaves and stuff they're going to stick around if there's enough wood planks and stuff, not wood planks, wood wood trunks nearby. But I imagine a bunch of that is going to despawn, which is not a bad thing, not too bad of a thing. So let's look at the map, because yeah, I'm not used to having a map either. This sort of beach area over here, oh, oh, there's a magical forest there. I need to go and check out the magical forest. All right, let's head over that way. I think I'm now heading in the right direction anyway. <laughs> let's check this out. I have not done a great deal of exploring in this world at all. I've pretty much just stuck in the area you saw. I've been... This is where my base is. The spawn bases are there. I've been down as far as this sort of biome here, which is that flower field. That's where the big oil spill is. Um, there's a base out here. There's a couple of people's bases here and there, but I want to do a little bit more exploring. That's the eerie biome there, I think. That kind of... Yeah, that chunk there says eerie when I hover over it, which is interesting. I kind of wonder what properties those have beyond just darkening the sky, if they do have any. <laughs> well, this cow is stuck in a bush. Be free! <laughs> and the sheep, kind of the same thing. Oh, that's already looking pretty cool, right? Hello. That's, that, that is some neat terrain generation. I'm not the kind of person who rags on vanilla terrain generation because a lot of people I know have been around since early versions of Minecraft and they think that the terrain generation has changed to the point where it's ruined the game. Stuff like this is pretty cool. I've got to, I've got to hand it to you. That's that's pretty good. And the grass color is kind of similar to how it is at spawn. And these are silverwood logs. Okay, interesting. It looks like somebody's already been out here for the saplings and has just been reducing these leaves into saplings. Let's see if we can grab a couple ourselves because I'm pretty sure silverwood is an ingredient of thorncraft but I don't know much else about it. And I really hope you don't have to have some special tool to get the saplings from it. I hope they're just rare because it doesn't look like we're getting any right here. Okay, I'm going to stop breaking stuff until I know what I'm doing. But I will try and take down this tree. <laughs> because, oh yeah, because I just want a bunch of this stuff now. It's really interesting that it takes it down in sections like that as well. Like it doesn't do the entire tree in one go like it did with the other one. But now I have a bunch of silver wood, and I assume nobody is really using this. I'm pretty sure the big island in the sky over there is a silver wood farm of some kind. I'm not going to leave those two blocks up there, are you kidding? Come at me. <laughs> Bring them down. There we go. There we go, good. Yeah, there's a silverwood farm kind of in the sky. I think that is what they did, because I think silverwood is, yeah, some kind of vital component of Thorncraft. So, hopefully nobody will mind me messing with these trees a little bit over here. It does look like this is somebody's base, though, because there is... A couple of places heading down. Oh, this is Josiah's base. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm sorry I broke down one of your trees, but evidently you have a few others over here, so I hope that's all right. I'm not sure if, if Joe plays on the server anymore, to be honest, because there's, there's a few people around who started out playing and no longer do. 
I'm going to see if he's got anything cool in these chests over here. Anything I should know about, at least. I'm not going to take anything, but there's occasionally some cool stuff around that I don't know about that other people have made. There's a splash potion. I think they probably got that from a, uh, like a treasure bag or something. Nether furnace. Okay, interesting. Some bees. A bunch of tree taps for industrial craft stuff. Yeah, yeah, this this. This is the stuff I don't know about. These are <laughs> these are redstone engines and stuff. I will probably end up working with those at some point. But I think this has been an interesting exploration trip. They've got some mushrooms over here. Always welcome. Love me a mushroom. Not something I need to steal <laughs> right now. But let's head back to the base. And yeah, occasionally I'm going to make videos like this where the, the content isn't as structured. And I know you guys would like a bit of structured content, so I do aim to continue doing stuff like that. But part of me just wants to show you what happens when I'm playing by myself. And I find <laughs> I find water blocks that apparently lead down into the earth. That's a little bit nuts. I imagine that blue slime over here will have despawned by now. So not going to worry too much about him. The king slime is still up there somewhere, and let me see whereabouts that island was. It's up there somewhere, I'm not sure quite where it was, but it's up there somewhere, and I will probably head up there at some point just to check it out, just to see what on earth is going on up there. But yeah, this is going to be a, more of a video where you guys get to see what I do when I'm not like structuring my content, when I'm just kind of playing the game, I am going to take a bit of the sandstone from here because evidently someone else has been using this as a sandstone quarry. So I feel like I may as well. And I need a bit more sandstone just to complete my Tinker's Construct area. So let's grab a bunch of this while we can. And we can probably do it faster, or maybe a little bit faster. It's not that much faster than the Efficiency 3 with this one. So. That's not too bad. But let me know if this kind of content is fun for you guys or if you would prefer me to stick to have a plan and make a thing because that's that's what I can do. It just requires a little bit more research and I don't know, sometimes doing things this way is just a little bit more fun for me because there's an element of exploration in it and you guys get to see almost like the wonder I have <laughs> at some of the modded stuff that I've not yet encountered. So I feel like this is kind of okay as a video format every now and again. But let me know if you guys are totally opposed to me doing videos like this and I will make sure I can structure my content a bit better in future. Let's avoid the giant hole in the ground and let's try and make it back to mainland. Shooting zombies on our way. <laughs> well, one advantage to having a giant pink flower over the top of your base, you're not going to miss it from a distance. That'll be all from Decidedly Neapolitan today. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a bit of a progress update, I guess, so we'll have some more cool stuff for you next time. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more Minecraft videos, tutorials, snapshot videos, all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys soon. Bye for now. Bye.